I'm on the road again. This is Reverend Gary Hemus with Bread of Life Outreach Ministries. How are y'all doing today? I'm live right here in Morris, Illinois, and I am excited about what's going on in this world. But the most important thing I want to talk to you today about is really something that is on my mind as well as on others across the world, especially with pastors and ministers and evangelists and lay people, husbands and wives in the ministry, is something that even myself have been addicted to and still um, I still carry the burden uh, Jesus Christ says that uh, uh, your burden is heavy but my yoke is light uh, one of the things that the devil tries to do is if if he can come into your house and if he can take his foot in your door and if you allow him to come into your house then he'll take his toe, I mean his leg, and then he'll take his body. And then after he takes his body, then he'll come in and he'll take control. Understand, does the devil do things heavy or does the devil do things light? I would mean to tell you he does things light. Things says, does things easy. He doesn't really work hard at what he does. But he does it because he knows what he's doing, what he's doing, and where he's doing it, how he's doing it. So the question is, is why is he doing it? Well, he's doing it because of the fact is what happened in the Garden of Eden. We know what happened in the Garden of Eden. We know that he was beguiled. Beguiled just means in, in the Hebrew, it means sex. That means he had sex with her. Do you think, no, I want you to think about this. Hey, seriously, think about this. Do you really think God kicked out somebody because of an apple or a piece of fruit? Come on, give me a Holy Ghost break. Really, seriously. If you're that naive, then don't even look, listen to this video. Don't, e don't even watch the video. Just turn it off right now. I just sent over a, a blog, and I want people to know that and I want you to hear me. Jimmy Swaggart, when Jimmy Swaggart was addicted to prostitutes, and then Jimmy Swaggart went up there and he accepted, yes, he asked God to forgive him for the things he did. Of course, the Assembly of God Church didn't accept that. But Jimmy Swaggart, did he not ask God's permission before he asked man's permission but then even after that occurred did he just fall again what does the Bible say the Bible says we fall seven times the righteous fall seven times but they get right back up we can fall and fall and fall and fall and fall does that mean God doesn't love us of course he loves us but he says come in the garbage can you're in and I'll do the rest if you're going to come to me to get rid of your drugs, if you're going to come to me to get rid of your sexual addiction, if you're going to come to me to get rid of anything in your life. This, and again, this is for ministers, pastors, lay people, bishops. I, I don't care what title that you have. If you have even thought about it, looked at it, decided on it, the question is right now, I'm going to tell you, is stop doing what you're doing right now. Because you're going to get destroyed. You're, you're, it's going to end up going from from one step to the next step to the next step. And there's always different levels, degrees of sin that a person will get into. You know, uh, Bundy once said that uh, he had a very, very, in, very enjoyable life. A beautiful wife, had a lovely home. It's, you know, father was in the, was in the, it was in the. Uh, public service um, but then all of a sudden he got involved and he says um, he got involved with uh, when he was 13 years old 13 years old he got he started watching these uh, he would find these uh, pornography magazines and he would watch these this porno and uh, he would watch first uh, just a regular porno, then he would watch porno with rape, and then porno with murder, 
and uh, it excited him the more. It excited him the more. It was a turn on. And uh, when he moved to Florida, he said the reason why he moved to Florida was that his addiction was getting so bad that if he was going to die, he wanted his, his body to die quickly. And that's when they did the electric chair. Then James Dobson came and he told James Dobson about everything that happened and he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Ted Bundy is in heaven today. Oh, his soul might. His soul's in heaven, but his body is, and his body is, is in the grave. Because that's where he wanted his grave to be. He wanted to get out of this world as fast as he can. Now, that, that doesn't mean that God wants us to do that, because he doesn't want it. God wants us to work through a problem. Paul says, I do the things I do. Do you think I do the things I do because I want to do the things I do? Do you think Jimmy Swaggart wanted to do the things that he wanted to do? you think Jimmy Baker wanted to do the things that he did? Do you think that Tammy Faye Baker did the things that she wanted to do because they wanted to do it? Sexual addiction has been going around. Do you know in the United States of America, 75% of the United States, 75% of the men and women that walk the face of this earth have been in some way, shape or form, sexually abused. In some way, shape or form. Or physically abused. Or mentally abused or spiritually abused. But they've been abused in some way. It's actually even higher as, a, as, as if you really want to get down to it. It's really higher. Look. I'm abused. I'm addicted. And I've been in the ministry 24 years. And I still have a problem. And I'm tired of the problem. My question to you is, are you also crying out for help? Are you that voice crying out for her. Jeremiah 33 says what? Call upon the name of the Lord and believe. He'll answer your prayers. He will answer your your prayers. Not my prayers. Your prayers. The question is Folks, what are we going to do about it? You know, we are walking into the last of the last days. And I believe a lot of ministers are, their, their lives are in disarray. You're running a bloody pulpit. You're, you're, you're doing things. You know, you look and you say, why, how can you say that you have a speck in, your brother's eye when you have a log in your eye. I have a log in my eye. How can I even preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ when I am addicted? How can I get up behind that how can I get up? How can I even mention his name? Because I can. It's not my grace. It's his grace. We're saved by grace, not through works. That no one should boast. It's not I that live, but Christ that liveth in me. In Galatians. Galatians is a freedom. He freed us from the sin of death. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. But if we don't work together and figure this out, we won't have ministries. Folks, right now, 75% of pastors and why? Pastors. Pastors. Evangelists. Lay people are involved in pornography. 70 if you don't believe me, it's a book called The Armor Bear by Brian Cutshaw. Brian did a very, very good job when he wrote that book. 
did his research, he did a lot of fact checking, 75% and 85% are women. Why women? 85% of the women. There are, <clears throat> there are so many of them that I know have wrote books that are involved. Is this, is this the downfall? Is this the Sodom and Gomorrah? Is this the brimstone? Is this the hell and brimstone? Is this when Samson's hair was cut off and the Holy Spirit was on his hair? He was all around him, but the hair was his main focus of his strength. Are we in unforgiveness? That's number one I would ask you. Is there unforgiveness in your life? Is that why you do it? We have to have a reason why we need to sit down. We have to figure out why we do what we do. Why we do it in secret. Why even David. David was an adulterer. He lusted. He coveted. He broke two commandments, you could say. But most importantly, is he coveted Bathsheba. And then he caused another man to be murdered. Lusted. Lust of the eye. Lust of the flesh, secondly. Pride of life. Where's your pride today? What is it that's different? What are we going to do about it? Well, that's why I started this program. I want everybody that wants to get involved, they can, they can uh, go to Facebook. They can go to uh, Gary Emas, G-A-R-Y-E-M-A-S, or they can go to Gary, uppercase G-A-R-Y, E, uppercase E-M-A-S, at gmail.com and if you want to be part of the group that only God and I know that's it there is nobody else that knows about it. just only God and I and we're going to do it in secret we're not going to do it in private we're not going to do it I mean we're not going to do it public this is something where people can actually get on there and if we want to do some Skyping we can do it but I don't want to really do that I just want people that have the problem to come to this group and be able to voice their opinion, be able to tell us what they got involved in so we can be free. We can be free. Folks, this is Reverend Gary Emus, and I'm sexually addicted. In Jesus' name, amen.